The American Cancer Society recently released new guidelines for breast cancer screening with MRI. The Society recommends that annual MRI screening should be performed on high-risk women with 20% or greater lifetime risk of developing breast cancer. This edition of Oncology Podcasting will feature Dr. Judy Destaway, Chief of Mammography for Advanced Radiology. She will be discussing with us the role of breast cancer screening with MRI. Dr. Destaway, the England Journal of Medicine recently reported that MRI scans, in comparison to mammograms, are helpful because they can simultaneously detect breast cancer in both breasts of a woman with breast cancer. Do you have any comment about this? Well, bilateral breast cancer is very uncommon. Even in this particular study, where a large number of women were evaluated, there were only 30 out of 960 patients who had bilateral breast cancer. Which would be cancer in both breasts. That is correct. So we're dealing um, generally with the cancer on one side. Okay. If we suspect that the woman does have a particular type of cancer, and that's called an invasive lobular cancer, where there is a greater risk of having cancer on, in both breasts, then we do further studies. We'll do an ultrasound if the mammogram doesn't show an abnormality. And only in a very few cases will we do an MRI of the breast. But MR is very good at finding enhancing lesions. And if we see an enhancing lesion, then we're suspicious that that could be a cancer. In this recent study, there were a significant number of cases where the MRI was positive, but after a biopsy was performed, the patient was found to have no cancer. What is your response to this issue of false positives? It is very sensitive in finding enhancing lesions, but there is an overlap. Not every lesion that enhances, that takes up the contrast, is a cancer. And so in those cases, we basically have to do a biopsy, particularly if we have a patient who has a diagnosis of breast cancer. We need to know what all of the enhancing lesions are. You can't put them into a short-term follow-up, you know, say come back in six months. You basically have to biopsy those lesions. So while MR is very sensitive in finding cancer, it is not very specific. That is, benign lesions can enhance just as cancers can. Could you explain to us how a breast MRI is performed? A woman lies on her stomach. She's lying prone. Her breasts uh, are placed in a coil. Uh, so we have two separate coils that have a special magnet inside of these coils. Uh, we inject a, a contrast material. Mm -hmm. It's not iodine. Okay. Uh, it's called gadolinium and that contrast material is taken up in the bloodstream and lesions that have increased blood supply that's really what we're looking at lesions that have more blood vessels going to them because cancers are like that cancers have more blood vessels going to them than normal breast tissue so lesions that are vascular will take up the gadolinium mm -hmm. and will show up as a, um, a hot spot okay basically on the mri scan could you show us what the scan of a patient with breast cancer looks like in comparison to a patient without breast cancer? This is the patient's right breast and this is her left breast and you can see how they're hanging, they're projected into the coil. And this is the normal breast where basically uh, all we see are blood vessels, no lesions in hands. And this is the abnormal breast. And actually, one lesion, the larger lesion in the upper outer portion of the breast, showed up on the mammogram. So we knew, uh, based on the mammogram and on the sonogram, we did a biopsy, and we knew she had a cancer. But the MR showed uh, an unsuspected second lesion in the inner or medial portion of her right breast. And you can see that there are actually two round nodules that are enhancing. So in this patient, we had an unsuspected second lesion and it changed her management. Okay. Now, what about the American Cancer Society recommendation that high-risk women should have annual MRI screening of the breast? Can you elaborate more on this advisement? MR has been used for a long time as a problem-solving tool. Mm -hmm. We reserved it for screening in only a very select number of patients. 
with these new guidelines, that pool of patients has increased. So we now have patients who not only have what's called BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene um, carriers, mm -hmm. those women are basically at very high risk for developing premenopausal breast cancer. We now have patients who have a 25% lifetime risk for developing breast cancer. Those are women who have a strong family history, either a mother or a sister who have premenopausal breast cancer, uh, both a mother and a sister who have breast cancer uh, and or ovarian cancer, or if they have not only their mother maternal side involved, but also the paternal side, the father side involved, then they really have a very strong uh, risk uh, of getting breast cancer. Uh, and so those women also now are advised to have an annual MRI. The other patient population are those women who uh, were treated for Hodgkin's disease or lymphoma mm -hmm. and who had radiation to their chest. They also have a greater risk of developing breast cancer. Now, do you personally recommend performing an MRI on every woman at high risk for breast cancer? There are some cancers that don't show up in MRI. Cancers that uh, basically are characterized only by little calcium deposits. That may be the very earliest sign of a cancer. And those cancers generally we can find on the mammogram. We don't always see those on MR and we don't always see them on ultrasound. So the mammogram is still the first line of defense. It is, it is the tool that the woman should use to have um, screening for breast cancer. In our practice, the next step that we use is an ultrasound. In a woman who has very dense breast tissue, or there's a questionable area on her mammogram, or she feels something that we can't see on the mammogram, we'll use an ultrasound. Ultrasound uses sound waves. Okay. And then if we need further evaluation, we'll go to MRI. Back to the issue of unnecessary biopsies. There are some physicians concerned that ordering a contralateral breast MRI for every woman with breast cancer can potentially lead to unnecessary biopsies. What do you think about this issue? Uh, that women are going to undergo necess unnecessary biopsies. And that's because of what I've talked about, the non-specificity of MR. While it's very sensitive, there is an overlap between benign and, and, and malignant lesions. And I think um, we are going to come up with some other tools that will help us to make MR more specific. Um, those tools are being developed uh, now as we speak. And perhaps in addition to just injecting contrast material, we could look at certain other agents and see if indeed there are characteristics that make those lesions more suspicious for cancer. Is breast MRI readily available in the community? It's very readily available. Uh, the only problem is that only those centers that can do an MRI guided biopsy should be doing breast MR because of what we just um, discussed. Right. Those women who have who have lesions that show up, need to undergo biopsy, can't be told, well, you have to go find a place where it can be done. Basically, they should have access to MRI biopsy at that facility. Now, since it is so readily available in the community, the concern is that the quality of the examination may vary. Patients may end up having unnecessary biopsies, or doctors may even miss the diagnosis if the test is read incorrectly. Do you have any suggestions regarding this issue? Every woman should realize that she needs to go to a center where the radiologist, the MRI specialist, uh, looks at the mammogram and every other test that she's had, an ultrasound perhaps, so that everything is coordinated. If the MR is abnormal, we need to know what the mammogram shows and we need to know what the ultrasound shows. There are times when the MR doesn't find the cancer. And so the decision to work up that questionable area is based on the mammogram and the sonogram. Uh, and so you need a radiologist who can put the entire picture together, decide what is the best option for that patient to make a diagnosis and to um, properly treat her. So do you personally foresee MRI becoming the primary way to detect cancer or do you still see a need for mammograms, ultrasounds, 
and other scans to detect breast cancer. Absolutely. There, there will be an armamentarium of tests uh, and the uh, radiologist and the surgeon and the primary care physician will put their heads together and decide what is the best approach to evaluate that patient. Uh, most of the times it's going to be to start with the mammogram unless she's very young or she isn't at high risk. We may start with an ultrasound. We'll never start with an MRI scan. We'll always start with one of the other technologies. Generally, MR is, is reserved for problem solving or high risk after the other tests have been performed.